This is Scott Larson at the University of Iowa, and this is a case I did with Dr. Jeffrey Lynch. This is a basic lateral rectus resection to show you how this procedure is done. First, we make a pyridomy with a relaxing incision and carry the incision around the limbus. An incision at the limbus allows for excellent exposure. We're making a, another relaxing incision here and then spreading in the quadrants above and below the muscle right on the sclera through the posterior tenons. Now you can hook the muscle first with a von Graefe hook followed by a green hook. The green hook uh, holds the muscle in place better but uh, it's good to make sure the muscle isn't split in two. Uh, finding the muscle borders is important here and uh, I'm helping uh, by retracting at this point with small hooks. We're going to do a very complete dissection uh, as we want to resect a fair amount of this muscle. And you can see the uh, muscle capsule that's being cut away here. Every once in a while a little bit of cautery is necessary. We try to do as little as we can. Uh, this is a good example of now a inferior oblique which I'm hooking there. You just need to make sure the inferior oblique is not attached to the lateral rectus. Now that the muscle is cleaned, we can put two green hooks under the muscle to hold it in place. And then using a caliper, you can make a small cautery mark on the muscle belly and pass the 6-0 double-armed vicral suture through the muscle. We're using one suture in this case. You can use two double-armed sutures and this is a uh, lock bite now. The stitching is then completed uh, by stitching the other half of the muscle, weaving through the fibers of the muscle, and then another lock bite at the other border. Now we use a Hartman clamp that's been modified and made very thin and clamped across the muscle and then uh, Westcott scissors used to cut through the muscle. Once that's complete, the end of the muscle can be cauterized and then let free. The muscle stump on the sclera is then delicately removed, leaving uh, the place for the sutures to then be passed. Care is taken to not enter the eye, of course. Uh, this is showing that the, the pass is secure and can be lift up the sclera. You really want these stitches to be secure since there's only one suture holding this resection. Taking a good scleral bite is essential. Now as we pull the muscle up to its insertion and make it tight, you'll see that the, there's a little bit of a sag in the center of the muscle. In this case, we didn't want to have any weakening effect. You can eliminate the sag in the middle of the muscle by taking your 6-0 vicral suture, passing it through the muscle, and then tightening up to the knot that you've already made. When doing this, just be careful not to cut th through the suture with the needle. Make a 2 or 3 millimeter tail so that these don't untie, and then reattach the conjunctiva with 8-0 vicral interrupted sutures. With a larger incision like this, you probably will need four interrupted sutures, two at the limbus and two more in the fornix to hold this wound closed. You've now seen how to do a lateral rectus resection by Jeff Lynch and Scott Larson at the University of Iowa. Thank you for watching.